OK, well, Nathan, uh, congratulations on the win in the first game today. But more important, I'm going to say welcome to working for you because you're the only one I've missed out yeah. on interviewing so far. It's because you signed too early <laughs> and yeah. you beat me to it when I was on holiday. So uh, let's, let's go right back in time, first of all. What made you decide to come to Woking? Well, um, I know Dalsford when I was at Hampton. I played for him before, and then I went to Dartford in November last season. So when the season finished up there, I spoke to Dals. Because um, I played for him before, Woking's a very good club. He had ambitions to want to get them straight back up. So it made sense for me, playing under Dals, being at Woking, it was can't answer nothing more really. Right. I, I think I've heard him say he signed you three times, is that right? Well, no, well I signed, I played for him once, the first season at Hampton, played the whole season, got to the playoffs, the second season started there, then went to Dartford halfway yeah. through the season, Okay. and then he signed me back to us twice really. Right, right. Yeah. And how have you enjoyed pre-season? Yeah, it's been good man, meeting new lads, good pre-season under our belt, we've had some tough games. So I think it set us up to going into the season. We haven't really played many teams below us, so we haven't really walked over no one. We've been put through our paces. It's been a good pre-season, I would say. Yeah, good. Um, it's, you've come into a situation like all the rest, where there was there were hardly anybody left from last season. So I mean, I know lots of you sort of know each other from yeah. in the past, but you've never played as a team before. How, how well is it coming together, do you think? I think it's come very well. Like, playing under Dust before, I know he's a He's a good judge of character with the players he signs. So me coming back into it, I knew a few lads because two of us, three including me, came from Dartford. And there's a few that came over from Hampton that I was with as well. And then meeting all the new lads, they all seem like good lads, like no bad eggs in the change room. So I think we've all come in just knowing our, each other's character has got along well. And then it's just about knowing each other's individual game on the pitch. And through pre-season, we've been learning that. And I think we've gelled well. We're still learning, we're still finding things. But as you could see today, we stuck in. I don't think it was one of our better games, but we make sure we didn't concede. If we have to win ugly through this league, then we're going to have to do it. Yeah, I'm sure it, that, that will have to happen a few times. Um, before we turn to today's game, can I just ask you uh, finally about yourself as a player? You're a bit of a utility man, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's, Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, I thought it, it has its pros and cons. Like For me, I'd actually like to play football. I'm getting to that age where I'll play wherever you put me, but by trade, obviously, I'd like to just come to football now. I'm going to be playing in one position, but I'm professional to just take it. Some people say it's my fault wherever I play, I have a half good game. So. <laughs> well, you played at right back and centre back in pre season, and you played centre back today. Yeah, and I played centre mid as well. Yes, yeah, game. defensive midfield yeah. as well. So, do you actually have a preferred position? Well, I, I'm used to playing holding midfield and right back. So, out of the two, right now, I probably prefer playing right back. But I'm used to playing centre centre mid, like holding, just sweeping up. I, I like that position, but centre back can always do a job there. Yeah. So, played number so ten before as well. You played ninety minutes there today, and it's your least favourite position. Yeah, but I, I'm <laughs> professional to just do the job as good as I can. Absolutely. Let's turn to today's ninety minutes. Um, I think it could be. It was a game of two halves, wasn't it? A shocking first half, Most a much better second half, and an amazing end. Yeah, that's what we said. We came in at half time. No one was happy. Not one single player walked into that changing room. Thought it was acceptable. It was. It wasn't. We just didn't get started. But maybe put it down to the first game of the season. But as players, we knew what we had to do when we were coming out in the second half. And I feel the second half was a better. We created a lot more chances. Our keeper didn't have many saves to make. Even throughout the game, first half as bad as it was, we didn't even expose. So you come to places like this. This is going to be a long season. You come to places like this. You just need to learn to shut up shot. And as long as you stay in the game, you always have a chance. And that's what we did today. But today's performance was unacceptable. But we've come for three points and we've got it. So we just have to take that into the second game. And hopefully it gets better. Yeah, absolutely. Did you have a, a view of the, the foul on Reggie? Well, from where I, where I was, I just saw him <laughs> electric down the wing. Yeah. And it did look like contact. I can't say what. It just looked like they, there was a collision coming together. So right. I was always screaming penalty. Referee gave it. And th there was some... Um, short let's say there was a bit of a delay before the penalty got taken. Oh yeah, he's right. They've got a few ex-pros that have played higher up in the division, so they know it's the last minute. They've just done all the tricks to try and put Max off. It was a long, long time. But yeah. credit to Max, he's, I played him before. He's a great penalty taker. He held his composure, didn't let anyone get in his head. And as you can see by the finish, what a pen. So credit to Max for holding out on, under so much pressure. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And uh, defence, you were not under the, a massive amount of pressure. And you, you've just said Bertie didn't have a great deal to do. I think he had one 
save to make in the entire second half. That's what we were saying. So you, you kept them away, you did a good job. Well, as a team, we tried to collect it. We always stay together, leaving not much spaces for them to create those gaps. They had a lot of throw-ons, they got a long, long throws. I think yeah. the first half they had like eight or nine into our box. So we just defensively, I think we're solid. We tried to clear our lines, make sure they don't get anything easy to create anything. So they, we didn't really give them chances where they would walk away thinking we should have scored that. So collectively, defensively, it was happy. It's just as a performance, you want to do a bit more on the ball going up the field, giving them a lot to think about. And I think we've done a bit better in the second half with that. Yeah, and I suppose it, it, it would be remiss not to mention Reggie, who came on, and it would be fair to say he had a bit of an impact. Didn't oh, it? wow, what an impact. He came on at half-time. Like I said, Gaffer came in, he wasn't happy. He made a tactical substitution. He brought Reggie on. We all know Reggie's got an electric pace. And as soon as he came on, he, he put them to their paces. They... They didn't know how to deal with him, and I think that's what he is. He's a young lad. He's got no fear in the world, and he just—I'm buzzing for him because he looks like he's going to be a real threat this season. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Again, uh, finally, the, the games come thick and fast this time of year. We only got to rest till Tuesday, yeah. and then another one against St Albans. Do you know much about them? Well, I've played against them many times. Right, being in the conference south, they're a very good team. They—they've got very good individual players, but so are we. So we know we have to come into this game professional treat respect them and do what we have to do and let them worry about us but we'll we'll respect them they I think they've won today three two so they'll be buzzing so it'll be all to, all to do on Tuesday. And I said finally but finally finally a word about the support here today because it was pretty amazing. I thought wasn't it, it was amazing. I thought the fans were behind us all throughout the game even when we was going through like our bad patch in the first half they stuck behind us, dug in and it was amazing and it was great to see them celebrating like that and I can't take my hats off enough to them. It was great. We loved we enjoyed the support. Brilliant. Thanks very much for your time. Congratulations on the win and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Thank you very much.